guys, welcome to Maznia. Now, I apologise for anyone uh, who's Polish and I just uh, said that wrong. This is a totally free, 100% free um, train game. It's actually rem it's remarkably good, actually. And I am terrible at it. Um, you have controls via either the keyboard or you can actually uh, interact. It's actually not letting me do it, but you can interact. There you go. You can interact directly. Um, you can even wander through the train if you want. So let's uh, go below. We'll have a look at the engine. There's the back of the train. We're not connected to anything right now, I don't think. And I wonder how you sit down again. I don't know. What we're going to do in this video... When you do this video, I'm going to quickly show you a little bit of this uh, route, um, probably another one, and then I'm going to show you how to install it, because this, this is not on Steam. Um, it's worth doing. It really is. Um, right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open the instructions. Now, I'll show you how to get to these later on. Now, the initial instructions that you'll see are going to be uh, these ones when you actually click on them. And this is actually on their website. And uh, when you choose control the train, you'll press there, and which opens this page. And then you choose what train it is to actually uh, your control. And then it gives you actually instructions how to do it. Um, now, this is the loading screen. So these are your routes and these are the sessions. So at the moment, we're driving this one, which then is down here. So this actually or here somewhere, yeah, EPO7. So these are the instructions how to actually drive this one. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to press Shift and Q, which puts automate, automatic. And you can press Q again any time to actually... Uh, Uh, hopefully, yes. I tried this yesterday. It took me straight up there. That wasn't good, as there's another train going to come in a moment. And we crashed and died. So if I put it back onto Q again, so now I'm controlling it. Problem is, I can't actually see what I'm doing. Sit. Chair. So it's not the most advanced simulator in the world. But it's 100% free. Alright, at this point we're going to stop this one. We're going to go find something else. Well, we are now driving a hog that <laughs> I think. So actually no, it's an EN fifty seven, that one there. Oh I like these controls. These controls can get behind. Well literally. Now, I'm a little worried about that, but yeah. Do one more. Sounds like a 1960s sci fi program. You can't miss it up here, the speed. 
I do want to know what that is. <laughs> Something which hasn't quite rendered in. Yeah, there's a number of things I haven't rendered in. Look at this. Sounds like a modem. That wouldn't be a good place to go, would it? You'd run off the track, onto that mound. You wouldn't hit the buffer first, would you? Or is that just meant to be a sign saying, STOP! I suspect that's probably the consist. Got passengers there. I have no idea how they actually get to that platform though. I'm tempted to go and look. I think they just wander on there, don't they? Just stand in the middle of the track, why not? Well, they seem to have to, to get there, so... Well, I think that's it for this section of the video. What we're going to do next is actually, uh, I'm going to show you how to install the game. Uh, it's not actually that difficult, but the download does take a while. So, how do you install Masnia? Well, you head to the website. So, it's eu07.pl. PL stands for Poland. What you'll see is this. We may not be in your language. If it isn't, go to the top right and there's the flag. So I would click on the English. And uh, well, the first page has got uh, what well, the most important thing is the hardware requirements. And so it's an i3, you need eight gigs of uh, RAM and at least a GTX 750 or a Radeon HD 7850. So we look on the next page, it's the project, it tells you a little bit about the project. The gallery, now, what says 2021? It's the last ones on here. Um, it goes all the way back to 2001. That shows how old this game is. When you click on them, they actually do click to full size. We've got the downloads, which we'll click on in a second. We've got the manual, and this is important, you're gonna need this. And this will open, um, where is it? This one, this will open this one here. And trust me, you're gonna need that. And to control a train, you click on controlling, and then you'd want to click on there, which then opens this tab. And good, look at this. You've got all these different uh, trains here, locos, and it will, t it will take you to the, uh, the right place to actually uh, show you how to drive them. Right, so go back to the original tab. Which one was it? Oh, it was this one, yep. 
you got a forum and there is an English section on there. So if you have questions, you can actually uh, at least ask. And then right, so let's uh, download. Now, you'll notice none of this is in English. Remember, this is a, this is a free project. So th they are trying and the game mostly is in, is in English. This is the download button here. I'm not entirely aware. Instructions, problems. I don't know what that one is. So you click on there, save file. Now I'm going to save it to downloads game. And there we go, save. Now this will differ for wherever you set it for. Now I'm using Firefox, so on Firefox you click on this button. You can either click on there, or you can click on the folder, and that will open the folder onto my ROM monitor. There you go. So there we go, F drive downloads game. So that's where I've downloaded it to. Click on it. Now, this button here will be cancel, this is proceed. Now this is like choose folder. So we are going to install it on my D drive. So for there, you have to go to there, there. I'm going to put it into a folder called games. And then I've already created a folder called Masnia. And once you see these buttons then become available. If you don't have a folder yet, now obviously you might not want to put it in that game, so you don't probably have a folder called games. You might want to put it in say program files, but then you create a new folder down here, such as that, and then you can create, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't need it. There you go, so I've chosen that folder. There it is. You can also actually write your folder. So if you just go into, let's say you had D games and then you wanted to put it, so they could write the uh, name of the uh, folder. Right, so then we're gonna go to next, again. I have no idea what these things are. I don't know what that is. We click on it. We install it. Actually, you're not really installing. All you actually, all this is actually doing is downloading the files, because you, you notice that I didn't have to cut for that uh, down to download this installer. It's just literally just downloading the installer. This installer will actually download everything and place it into the folder, but it doesn't really install anything. It's um, you can move the game folder any time. And so uninstalling the game is really simple. You just remove the folder and it's gone. And there we go. It starts um, downloading everything. Actually, it's command prompt, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to pause the video there until it's actually downloaded. And we'll, we'll carry on then. And we are back. Right, this took ages to install. So I went away and did some other stuff. Did move the screens around slightly. Um, these are actually all the files, which is actually installed. So it actually happens when you press this. That's it, it just closed, I thought it did. Right, the game itself, so you you'll go and find it in your folders. So as, if, as we saw, we actually installed it into the game's uh, Mazinia. I really forgot how to say it. And then you'll see two applications. Um, EO7 and starter. You click on the starter, double click on the starter. Uh, yes, I think the tack is yes. And there we go. Now, language isn't in English, so we click up here, put it to English. So what do we have? So this is the launcher. It obviously launches the other application. So it's EU07, EU07. So possibly, is that the seventh version of the game? I don't know, maybe that. So if you had a different version, maybe it could actually load a different version. I don't know. So you can update the start by pressing this button, keyboard settings. This is always very important. Especially if you're left-handed like me. This is a very complicated game. Depot, so that's what... So these are the engines you've got. I'm assuming that's a free... So you don't have to play a scenario, you can probably just load it in. But we're gonna look at the scenarios. And these are different uh, scenarios you can play. So 
if you're thinking it as in a train sort of uh, trains with a Z sort of uh, way, these might be the routes and these are the sessions you can play. And all you do is click on it, double start and or double click and start it and there you go. Um, that's probably where we're going to leave it actually the video. Um, it's free to play, what can I say? Why not try it? The, the lowest specs on it aren't that difficult. Back to settings, you can change the uh, graphics and everything. So I don't think there's much stopping you trying it. It's free. Tell me what you think. If you have tried it, if you haven't, tell me your thoughts on the game. Um, but that's it. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding dong bell button, you know what it does. See you next time. Bye, see bye.